Many people feel disappointed that the 17-year cicadas did not appear in their neighborhoods this year. But the cicadas were out there. You just had to be in the right spots. Central Park and Manhattan were no good. Too many skyscrapers in the city blocked the way in from the suburbs for an insect not well known for its flying abilities. And while the Bronx had a few, Queens and Brooklyn seemingly had none. By far, the cicada hotspot for New York City this year was Staten Island. Here, they could easily be found in all the usual spots, in woodlands, parks, and backyards. However, they could also be found in unusual locations, such as on the beach just a few feet from the ocean, and even in the ocean, if they had chosen an unfortunate spot on which to land. So why were the cicadas this year only found in patches, sometimes miles apart, rather than in a continual blanket across the landscape from North Carolina to Connecticut? One part of this puzzle is to understand how we've changed the landscape over the past several centuries. Once, the eastern United States was almost entirely forested, and periodical cicadas were quite possibly found everywhere there were appropriate types of trees. But after 300 years of agricultural and urban development, the forests nearly everywhere have been cut down at least once, one time or another. And without enough trees, eventually you lose the cicadas. Even where enough trees remain to support them, like Robinson Crusoe shipwrecked on an island, the cicadas often became marooned on forested fragments scattered across the larger landscape. And because they are not the best of flyers, even when the trees grow back, it can take a long time for the cicadas to return. Able to fly no more than a few miles every 17th year, it will be centuries before the cicadas can spread back across the landscape that they once occupied. And even then, continued development always has the potential to remove them from yet more of their habitat. In the end, all we can do is enjoy them where they're currently found, and hope that enough trees and forests remain and grow back in the future, so that one day, the 17-year periodical cicadas will once again be heard everywhere. Maybe even in Central Park. <laughs>